Hi, my name is Carmen, and I am an early childhood special education teacher, a life and ADHD coach, and I'm the host of this podcast, Authentically ADHD. I created this podcast to help anyone wondering if they have ADHD, people who have been diagnosed for a while and want some more support and community. I'm here to bring you the latest research on ADHD and neurodiversities while we talk about the good, the bad, and the ugly of ADHD. Are you ready? Let's get started. Hi there, and welcome back to Authentically ADHD. Today, we are diving into the topic of embracing your ADHD and acceptance versus indifference about our ADHD. A lot of times as ADHDers, we feel that if we accept ourselves, that we're saying that we don't need to do or want to change or grow. But that's not true. So we're going to dive deep into the world of ADHD and explore its many facets with compassion, curiosity, and a desire to make sense of it all. I'm your host, Carmen, and today we are exploring the topic that is not just vital for those of us living with ADHD, but also anyone trying to understand or support someone with a neurodiversity. So let's get into it. The first part of doing this is defining and accepting like yourself. So defining acceptance and indifference is the first part. So let's start by breaking the two concepts down. So when we talk about acceptance in the context of ADHD, we are referring to a conscious, deliberate choice to acknowledge the reality of ADHD, right? It means understanding how it affects our thoughts, behaviors, and emotions without ignoring, denying, or suppressing it. Acceptance is about embracing ADHD as part of who we are and not as a deficit or a flaw, but as a unique aspect of your identity. You can accept and love yourself while knowing that you are still growing and evolving. This is something that we have a hard time with because we have to remember that two things can be true at once. More specifically, You can accept yourself even though you run late and would like to improve your time management. So on the other hand, indifference is a form of apathy. It's the it is what it is attitude. And there's no real engagement with our ADHD in this in this um, in the indifference category, right? There's no con- there's no understanding. There's no effort to navigate challenges, harness strengths, or build in scaffolds. Indifference can often be mistaken for acceptance, but it's far from it. Where acceptance can lead to growth and empowerment, indifference leads to stagnation and resignations. Another big misconception is that we need to do better to feel better. But that's backwards. We first need to feel. We have to feel in order to do. Our emotions are information, not directives. Feeling the spectrum of emotions is part of the experience of life. So recognizing where you need improvement and not just dismissing it is really what we're talking about. So let's now talk about the misconception of acceptance as giving up because that's a big, big thing and I see it a lot. So a common misconception again is that ADHD and accepting it means that you're giving up on improvement or growth. But this means resigning ourselves to a life dictated by symptoms that we can't control. But that's not true. We can can control them. We can manage them. It couldn't be further from the truth, actually. So here's the thing. Acceptance isn't about giving up. It's about acknowledging that where you are right now is great and that's where you're going to be. And and acknowledging 
what you need to do to move forward. It's about understanding your strengths and your challenges so you can make informed decisions on how to manage your ADHD. When you accept ADHD, you're not saying, this is my excuse. You're saying, this is my reality, and I'm going to work on it. Stop beating yourself up every time that you make a mistake, please. Stop ruminating on all your past failures. Seriously, I want you to create that internal boundary right now. Decide that you are no longer shaming, berating, or beating yourself up for being human and or having ADHD as a human. This will include allowing others to think and believe what they want about you. It's really none of your business what they think anyways, unless they're your boss or somebody that um, you value. This is also the part where we need to make sure we are being honest with ourselves, making sure we are not using our ADHD deficits to make excuses. Because let me tell you something, excuse and explanation are not synonyms. They mean different things. Your ADHD deficits can be explanations, but we support those areas, learning to get better and better in life, working with our ADHD instead of against it. We don't use it as an excuse for why we aren't doing something. Because embracing ADHD also means acknowledging the challenges and being proactive in addressing them. This could mean seeking therapy, using coaching, medication, implementing strategies, or finding a supportive community. It's about taking ownership of your ADHD and deciding how it will fit into your life, not letting it take over your entire life. But also, we're not going to pretend that it doesn't exist. By embracing our ADHD, we empower ourselves to live more authentically. We will stop trying to fit into these neurotypical molds and start creating a life that aligns with our unique brains and the molds that we broke at birth, right? So I know you're waiting for it. Let's get practical. I have four practical steps for you for moving from indifference to acceptance. So number one, educate yourself. Understanding ADHD is the first step towards acceptance. You're doing the first step right now if you're listening to this podcast. Read book, read books, listen to podcasts like you're doing this one, and connect with others who share similar experiences. I can't tell you how many times I've watched a video on TikTok or Instagram where there's a video and I relate so much to it that I'm like, oh my God this is crazy. Like they have ADHD, I have ADHD. They experience the same things that I do. It's crazy. It's crazy. Right? So the next one is to reflect on your journey. ADHDers have a hard time looking to the past to predict the future. We end up making the same mistakes over and over and over again. So what I want you to do is make that intentional time to reflect on how ADHD has impacted your life. What are the patterns that you've noticed? What strategies have worked for you in the past? What hasn't worked for you in the past? And also, what have you forgotten about that used to work really well, but you forgot about using it, so you don't, you don't use it anymore? Number three. Seek support, whether it's through therapy, coaching, a support group, or having people around you who understand ADHD, it can be really helpful. They can offer new perspectives and strategies you may have never considered. Also, healing is done in community. Because these skills were supposed to be developed in community, we have to heal through community, unfortunately. Number four is to develop self-compassion. Accepting ADHD requires compassion toward yourself. Understand that ADHD is not a moral failing. It's a neurological difference. Treat yourself with kindness and patience like you were your best friend. Don't be mean to yourself. I'm telling you, that doesn't get us anywhere. Number five 
creating plans. Once you've accepted ADHD as part of your reality, create a plan that works for you. This might include daily routines, setting reminders, or breaking tasks down into smaller, more manageable pieces. Creating plans definitely helps me. I actually create a plan each morning using my executive brain to make sure that I'm doing the priority things of the day. If I were to just let my ADHD run my days, I wouldn't get much done. Would I look super busy and productive? Sure. But I wouldn't get anything done because I would just be hopping around from task to task, not knowing what's priority and what's not and blah, blah, blah. Okay. So here's the thing. There's an impact of acceptance on daily life. Acceptance isn't just a concept. Concept. Wow. It's real. It has a real tangible effect on your daily life. I'm telling you. Ask me how I know. When we accept ADHD, we're better equipped to handle the ups and downs that come with it. We're more likely to seek out tools and strategies that work for us, and we're less likely to beat ourselves up over things we cannot control. This acceptance can also improve things like relationships, your organizational skills, your ability to get a job and hold down a job. When we understand and accept our own ADHD, we can communicate our wants and needs more effectively to others. We can advocate for ourselves at work and at home, set boundaries, and seek out environments that allow us to thrive, which is something that we all want, is to thrive with ADHD. We don't want to just survive. I really did not want to come into this podcast topic with this woo-woo concept of if you just accept yourself, everything gets better. No, it is a process. A lot of people even have, you know, um, what is it called? What is it called? Imposter syndrome. When they get diagnosed, they don't believe they actually still have ADHD with the diagnosis on paper right in front of them. That imposter syndrome can really mess up your self-worth. I'm telling you, you, it can detach your self worth. And what that looks like is an episode of deep depression, a depressive episode. I have been in one and disassociation is part of it. Because if you don't accept your ADHD or your neurodiversity, the impact of that can be costly. It can actually cost you your life. This is why the rates of suicide in ADHDers are higher than in neurotypical people. So as we wrap up today's episode, I want to leave you with this thought. Acceptance is an ongoing process. It's something that you do once. I mean, it's not something that you do once and then forget about. It's a daily choice to embrace who you are, all the strengths, challenges, and the things you need to work on, and to approach life with a spirit of growth and learning. Remember, Acceptance is not the same as indifference, just like excuse is not the same as explanation. Acceptance is active, empowering, and rooted in self-compassion. Indifference is passive and really disconnected. Choose to embrace your ADHD, not as something to be fixed, but as something to be understood and integrated into your life. I'm telling you, it will improve your life so much. So thank you for pressing play today on Authentically ADHD. If you found this episode helpful, please consider sharing it with someone who might benefit from it or share it to your stories and tag me with your takeaway. I love to hear them. As always, I'd love to hear your thoughts and your feedback. Feel free to reach out to me at authentically ADHD underscore podcast or you can leave a comment right before, right below this episode. Now, if you enjoyed this episode, be sure to subscribe, rate, and review your favorite podcast on your favorite podcast platform because that really helps it get out to more people. I want to help as many people as I can with ADHD. So let's do this together. Let's help Everybody stay tuned for more insights, stories, and tips on how to live your best life with ADHD. 
As always, stay authentic, and we will talk soon, my friend. Speaking of extra supports, I just wanted to tell you all that I've updated my Patreon page to include all of the resources that I've really ever made to be held in one place. Just head to my show notes. Um, The VIP members do get a little extra, um, but you can also purchase like my brand new Ultimate ADHD Journal and Planner, which I've been using for the past year that has worked. Um, Nothing is priced over $10 and everything is at least 50 to 100 pages that you can download and print. You can get it to bind it and sent to you, or you can just read it off your screen and use notebook paper. So if you want or need any type of that kind of extra support, just head to my show notes and click the Patreon link to join. I hope to see you in there.